No, I'm not a writer. Welcome back, everybody. Today we're doing another quick video while we still have some light outside. And uh, it's a breaking news story, unfortunately, about another state taking away the rights of legal law-abiding gun owners. So uh, Massachusetts Attorney General today, she has declared that uh, assault rifles, as defined under the Massachusetts law, um, which specifically go into details about the AR-15 and AK-47 variants like we have right here, um, are going to be banned for sale in Massachusetts. Now, in the past, as of the 2004 assault weapons ban in Massachusetts, um, you could not uh, buy duplicates or copies, I believe they said, or, or sell duplicates or copies of these weapons. Now, uh, in the past, gun companies have taken it upon themselves to define what that is. So, for instance, pinned stocks, uh, pinned flash hiders, um, if some of the flash hiders weren't allowed, but no, no bayonet lugs at all, because of course we all know bayonets are really at the root of all crime in this country, um, as absurd as that is. Um, so, essentially, she has said that as of tomorrow, from what I understand, you cannot buy these uh, firearms anymore. As of right now, she's saying that she will not be coming for them if you already have them to collect them. Uh, but again, as of yesterday, you can buy them. So it's a steady progression into uh, ban, registration, confiscation. That's how it works every time around the world. There really aren't any exceptions to that. Uh, sorry for the background noise, guys. We're doing this video real quick so we can get it up as quick as possible. But uh, really, Clearly, we're against this. Uh, these weapons are not doing any harm in Massachusetts. In fact, they're being used, I'm sure, all the time for lawful self-defense, home defense, and many other legal uh, purposes that all Americans have the right to do. Um, so many of you also know that uh, I am a graduate of the Massachusetts Criminal Justice Training Center, I'm also known as the Police Academy. Uh, so at one point in time, it was my job to enforce the laws of Massachusetts. Now, um, that said, I also took an oath as a law enforcement officer in Massachusetts, and that oath, if you take a, take a look at what it reads, prohibits you as a law enforcement officer in Massachusetts from enforcing this law. So those of you guys that are law enforcement officers up in Massachusetts, I highly suggest you take a good look at your oath again, take a good look at this law, see which one you want to stand by. So um, obviously bad news again that we're bringing to you, but hopefully those out there in the rest of the country can get behind the gun owners of Massachusetts as well as California with what recently happened out there and push back against these laws on a national level. And uh, certainly as we see in Massachusetts, California and various other places, elections have consequences. So uh, make sure you take them seriously and get out there and vote your conscience, guys. Um, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video.